from here. What I want to do is why would you do this? So number one, you've got the within the technique. But the other piece about doing these different, wait a minute, within these techniques, you've got this wonderful, um, my computer wanted to restart. Um, you've got these wonderful um, ability, or these wonderful wind-ups that allow you to do something slightly different off them. So we're going to go back to our basic techniques for the last five minutes, right? And so what I want you to do is from here, just make the kyakuzuki. Let's do the first one first. Make an inch up. Good, so feel this expansion. Knee drive in. Sun, feel whatever technique flows off that. Right? So it might be here and you continue to step. It might be here, wind and then go. Right? Whichever technique floats your boat. So what I want you to do is I want you to wind up. We're going to be here. It's going to be wind. One, two, three. And just feel whatever technique rolls off that. Does that make sense? Whatever technique flows in the direction of your body that your body's going. So, from Gyakushiki, hey, it's quick, one, two, three, it's one, two, three, good, try again, notice how the technique has a particular role to it, as it continues through the action that you give it, it may continue this way, you may continue forward, you may bounce out this side, if you bounce out this side, it doesn't feel quite right. Notice, but it gives you a particular bias as you drive and push your hip, your hip and body. Try again, ready? Make yakshiki. Hey, itch, up, down, out. Good, and relax. So notice how you end up by wiggling your hips. Boom, 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 and it naturally goes somewhere. It naturally allows you to move. This is the feeling you want. And again, this can vary from person to person as to where you go or where you put your body weight, where you put your drive. Try again. Gyaks again. Ish! Boom, boom, boom. Good. And try again. And some of them, you know, you may do and you're just, oh, that was ugly. Right? And that's okay. That's the point of the third technique. Work out where it's clean to move. Again, a sun. A sheep. Good. One more. Go. Good. Switch feet. Try the opposite side. It might be different. Itch. Good. Screech out. Me. Good. Sun. She. Good. And again, it's all in the hips. It shouldn't be in your arm action. It should be here, hip and body squeezes up, hip squeezes down, hip either bounces out or continues onwards, yeah? Ready? Sun! Good, okay. Now from here, let's start from the opposite side. So it's going to be here, same arm out, right? It's going to be from here, one, two, three, right? Or one, two. Two, then where do I go? Oh my goodness, so it goes this way, right? To see where this, that technique takes you. Ready? Hey. Ish. Good. Now, what you might find with this one, because the torque is so great off that technique, as you're here, as you make that torque, you may leap on, and then it's already gone, right? You've already taken off in that direction. Allow that to happen. Allow here this torque here. Allow this explode. Whoa, whoa, there. That's the technique I want. You don't need to have your front foot hit the floor when you make that hit. As long as my back leg is fired and exploding in, 
It's all good. Do you know what I mean? You can put your feet wherever they need to be. It doesn't need to be one, two, three. In this particular instance, it can be yeah, two, three. This way. You can use that as long as your rear leg is driving and this is pushed and synced with it, everything is good. Hey, so from here, Kazamazuki. Hey. Ish. And notice how smooth and easy these actions are. Hey. Sun. Good. And back. Chi. Good. And back. Go. Good. And back. Oh. Good. And back. Good. Switch feet. Same, same, but different. Hey. Ish. So, so, for example, some of you are not using this twisty hip action, yeah? Some of you are here, and you're just sort of coming to here and not really using it, and then you're already flying in. Use the twist. Use this to unload and go, right? That's the point. So make sure, don't underemphasize this. Don't underemphasize this. Allow it, then allow it to explode to go. Don't half it. Don't halfway it, because just... You see what I mean? You're making use of the twist of your hips. You're making use of this generation of power from here to push down, to push up, right? Or to twist, to push, right? You're making use of that action. So you can imagine if you're fighting somebody, you can start to think of these things in this way. If I use my front hand to block, here one, then it's easy to come in. If I use my rear hand to block, now I can wind straight around to the other side, right? I can start to use these actions within my body to speed my hands up. You see what I mean? We're just doing an exaggerated version, but in Kumite, your block might be here. This, boom, boom. This is this and this. You see what I mean? It might be here, oh, hop, there's my block. Boom, pa, there's the punch. You might be here and use the rear hand to block. Well then, rather than sort of twisting it back, you would actually probably twist it forward. So allow it to come forward. Allow it to make the twist, then unwind off. You see what I mean? The movements get subtler as you go into the Jiu kind of motion. But their fundamental characteristic of the hip remains the push, expand, push. Or here, tighten, push. You see what I mean? So as you develop it from Jiu to, to, or Kihon to Jiu, you simply shorten the movement. The legs don't move as much, but you are able to shift and move about. The, the principle of the hip remains the same. Yeah? Okay, so try again. Ready? From here, making Kazamazuki. A ish, boom, bam, then let it go. Good. See, it's the torque of the hip that controls the motion. Knee. Good. One more. Sun. Good. And relax. Good. Easy. So it's this kind of play is what you want, right? When you're fighting, you find that people all too often turn into these sort of rock and sock and robots. Right? And what we've done today is we've talked about using the action of the hip, the action of the hip, but moreover, using the reverse action to make an action, and then, oh, I can continue on. Or using the, the with action of the hip to then continue on, right? So it's this hip action that allows you to continue in that movement beyond the, the, the couple of techniques that you might throw, 
right? It's using that momentum like a wave. It splashes and keeps going. So it's about using the hip to expand, 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 in and out. It's about using that action to continue and help guide your body to what it needs to do next. Right, so often, you know, you meet with showdowns or brown belts where they're like, you know, they'll come in there and they don't know what to do next. Right, rather, listen to your body and it tells you. Listen to your body and it tells you where to go. Does that make sense? And these kinds of drills give you two options for today, right? Using, depending on which hand you're using and firing forward first. And it permeates all the way through from things like get in but I, right now basic blocks, right, to basics, to kata, to kumite.